Hello and welcome to Beginner Yoga. So nice to see everyone. So we've got a nice beginner class. Uh, wear comfortable clothes. Uh, find a nice mat or a rug to lay on. And we're going to begin um, standing about hip distance apart. I want you to stand up nice and tall. Relax your shoulders. We're going to do some breathing really quick. So I want you to take one hand on the belly and one hand on the heart. And I want you just to take some nice deep breaths. So if you're feeling any kind of movement in that top hand while you're breathing, or if you're finding your shoulders are lifting up when you take a deep breath, that could be because you're doing vertical breathing and you're breathing too much from the chest and that's shallow breathing. So we're gonna focus on that bottom hand, take a deep breath, fill up that belly. We also call this belly breathing. And you just get a lot more oxygen in the body. So just two or three more nice full breaths just to energize you. You're breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Good, let's take one more nice full breath. Good, and then we're gonna take the hands down and we're gonna start warming up. So listen to your body. We're gonna take a deep breath, inhale the arms up. We're just gonna gently stretch towards the ceiling and then exhale down and then soften your knees. Take another full breath, gently stretch tall. Good, exhale, relax and melt on down. And then one more time, big breath in. Gently stretch, good, and release it. Good, we're gonna do a nice lateral stretch now. So we're gonna inhale straight up. And then we're gonna take one hand down and we're gonna reach the other hand up towards the ceiling. And if you can go even deeper, then go ahead and start sliding down that leg and get a nice lateral stretch on that one side. And then we'll bring both arms up, gently lift, and then the other hand comes down. We reach for the ceiling. This is my, might be where you wanna stay, or you can take it gently over the head, deep in the stretch. And then inhale back up. Good, and exhale back down. And now the back can also um, go forward and back, so we're gonna Bend the knees and take our hands just above the knees. We're gonna do some cat cows. So you're gonna round your back and then lengthen the spine. So we're just gonna, we're gonna hinge, leaning forward, leaning with the heart, sliding the hips back. And then when you go to exhale, round your back, look down. And these are standing cat cow stretches, just to warm up the spine. And then gently release. Good. And then we're going to just round up, stacking the vertebrae one on top of the other as we come back up. And then we're going to do another spine exercise just to warm up the spine. So we, we did a little bit of lateral side to side. We did forward and back. You can round the back and, and lengthen it, but you can also rotate. So this exercise, we're going to start with the palms facing forward, and we're gonna bring the hands just slightly behind the hips. And I want you to look over your right shoulder, and then kind of gently look back and stretch the neck, open up the heart, then we're gonna inhale back to center. You're gonna exhale, look over the other shoulder. And then we're gonna inhale back to center. Now we're gonna add a little bit of rotation. So we're gonna look over the shoulder, and then take this right hand and start to twist, going a little deeper into the rotation. Inhale back to center. So start with the neck first and then start looking over the shoulder and adding a twist using turning from the waist and hips. And then inhale back to center. Let's do that one more time. Take a nice full breath, relax the knees, exhale, rotate where you can. Looking over the shoulder. Beautiful, inhale back to center. One more time, let's just twist. Good, and then come back.
back to center. That's just a wonderful way to warm up the spine. We're gonna curl the shoulders back. So we're gonna lift the shoulders up, back, and down. And then we're gonna roll the shoulders forward. Good, and then we're gonna do another exercise. We're gonna inhale our arms up, take our hands just at the top of the shoulders. Do a little bit of shoulder work where the shoulders, elbows come in and out. Warm up those shoulders and then we're gonna again go up and down, working our side lats. Good, and then we're gonna make some circles. So we're circling back with the elbows, giving a little bit more range of motion. So think about making circles with the elbows on each side of you, like on the walls to the side of you. One more time, big circle up, back, and down. Beautiful. So we're gonna bring our feet a little closer together and we're gonna go ahead and grab the knees, make some circles. So just warming up our joints get some circulation in the body and then circle the other direction and then rolling up we're going to take one foot out and we're just going to rotate from right to left kind of warming up the hip here internal external rotation and then we're going to point the toe and flex it just kind of warming up the feet and ankles. Good, and then come back and then take the other heel out at an angle and then just gently rotate from side to side. And then point and flex. And we're going to work on some forward folds, so bring your feet back together. We're going to take a nice deep breath, inhaling, and then on the exhale, we're going to fold forward, just hinging halfway down. And you're going to slide those hips back, try and create a nice flat back. And then take your hands just below the knees, and then come into monkey pose, go where you can. And then keep those knees bent. We're gonna inhale, sweep back up. Take a deep breath. Good, and then again, exhale, fold forward. Take the hands to the knees. Lengthen the spine. Good, fold forward, hang like a rag doll. And then keep the knees bent because we're going to go ahead and curl up, rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Great. And then we're going to take our time, inhale, arms sweep up. Then we're going to bend the knees coming into a squat. The hands come behind and again, forward fold. And then inhale, gently lift. And then exhale, same thing, folding forward, but now the arms are sweeping back. Good, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold back. And some nice squats, but remember the knees are staying over your toes, so you're gliding those hips back. And imagine you're looking for a chair behind you, so make sure those hips get behind, behind you and you, your knees aren't going over your toes. Your hips are pushing back. Great, last one. And then exhale, hold it. Here's our airplane, and we're gonna hold it here, working those legs. And then we're gonna inhale, coming halfway up. So the arms are parallel to the ground. Coming into a more modified chair pose. We're gonna bring the hands to the heart. We're gonna do a little prayer twist as we look to the right. Good, inhale back to center, twist to the other side. Good, and then return to center and come up and rest. Good, take your hands to your side. We're gonna take a nice wide stance. 
Okay, I'm gonna turn the toes out slightly and we're gonna go ahead and just lunge from side to side, shifting your weight, making sure the knees are going in the direction of the toes. Warming, starting to warm up the hips. Good, one more time each side. Good, and then we're gonna take one hand, we're gonna play the hand and just stretch over. And then this hand comes to the hip and the other arm reaches again over the knees and toes. Good, and then coming back to center, another forward fold. So the arms are gonna come halfway. You're gonna bend those knees again, but this time fold forward. Either take your hands to your thighs and just stay here or you can continue to bring it forward and come into a nice wide leg forward straddle. And then we're gonna turn this into a windmill by taking one arm up. And then exhale down. We go to the other side. Take your time as you exhale back down. You're going to reach out for your ankles. Good. Walk your hands up your legs. Again, we're just peeling up one vertebrae at a time. So we're going to stay here and work on some warrior work. So take one leg, doesn't matter which one, you're going to turn it face forward. The other leg turns out and we're going to drop into warrior two. So this front knee is tracking over ankle. You can in a nice comfortable stance for you. The arms are reaching wall to wall, so make sure that they're level and they're parallel to the floor. Good, here's warrior two. From here, we're gonna relax this back hand and we're gonna follow that front hand up towards the ceiling, reverse warrior. Go where you feel comfortable. Take another deep breath. And then on the exhale, as we come back to warrior two, the hand comes forward. The back hand this time comes up. And we're gonna go into right angle pose. You can stay here with the arms stretching straight to the ceiling or drop the lower arm. So the forearm is actually resting on the leg and then we're gonna take it over next to the ear. So this top arm stretches at a diagonal. And we come into a nice right angle pose. Remember to breathe. And to come out of it, you lift this arm, straighten the other leg, the bent knee, and then you lift up, turn the feet, and we change direction. So we're going to warrior two on the other side. So relax those shoulders. Think about lifting from the crown. And when you're ready, the back hand relaxes. We follow the fingers up towards the ceiling. Keep that front knee bent. And then returning through warrior two, either the hand on the thigh, the arm up, or again, decide if you wanna challenge yourself, taking it to the right angle, so the arm is right next to the ear. You wanna create a nice diagonal line from wrist to ankle. Take one more nice deep breath. And when you want to come out of it, use this top arm to lift yourself out. Good. And then bring it back to center. Good. We're going to go ahead and walk our feet together. We're going to work on some balance. So I want you to stand just nice and tall. If you have a chair, go ahead and grab a chair. You can also do this against the wall. But we're going to start with just the legs. So we're going to inhale the arms halfway. And just shift your weight to one leg. See if you can lift a heel off the ground and maybe just point that toe and just bring the foot, ball the foot off the ground and then slowly come down, shifting your weight to the other leg fully, 
lift the heel first and then see what it feels like to actually take the toes off the ground. Listen to your body. Remember, you can certainly use a chair or a wall next to you to practice. Good, coming back down. So we're gonna make this a little bit for more challenging. So make sure you have a chair if you need it. Inhaling halfway. We're shifting our weight and we're gonna actually try and get the knee up and stand on one leg. So we're looking about six feet in front of us. We're breathing. And if your balance is giving you trouble, always bring that foot down and then try again. And we'll take one more breath. And when you're ready, just lower the leg. Relax the arms. Take your time as you shift your weight to the other side. Inhale, arms. Raise the knee. And of course, the higher you raise your knee, the more challenging it is. But you can always keep the foot close to the floor. If you get wobbly, you can just place that toe back on the ground. Couple more breaths. Good, exhale down. So for those who um, are good at balance, I'm gonna give them a little bit of a challenge. If you're, and if you have a chair, you might wanna try it too, the challenge yourself. So what we're gonna do is shift our weight and bring the arms up. As you bring one knee up, I want you to try and take the same arm as leg and bring it forward. So if you're holding onto the chair, the arm is just going out to the side and back in front. So this really challenges the body because the, uh, the top of the body, the arms are in motion, which challenges your balance. Okay, take it down. So if you can, as you can see, what I did is if you really want to work harder, bring both arms in. Okay, let's try the other side. Take a deep breath. Take your time as you shift your weight. Good, take the arms up as the knee comes up start one arm comes in and then stretches back out bring an arm in and do at least three or four of these and if this is easy for you then bring both arms in that knee nice and high and then inhale back out to the side and then just try it again. I'm gonna take another few breaths and then just go ahead and relax those legs down, shake it out. So how'd you do? Okay, let's go down to the floor. We're gonna work on um, some things on the floor. We're gonna actually come to one end of our mat and we're gonna take a nice full breath and inhale our arms up. And again, we've already warmed up, so we're going to fold forward, taking the hands to the floor, stepping back. And then both legs step back, and we're in a plank. And our arms are strong. We're going to stay here for a couple breaths. Good. We're going to take one leg and bring the knee underneath the hip. And the other leg is going to come out to the side. We're going to Bring the opposite arm up. We're going to open up for a modified side plank. Just trying to stack the shoulders. You're breathing. If you're a little bit wobbly, you can take this bent knee and just make kind of like a kickstand where you take it off the mat. It just gives you a little bit more stability. And then we're going to exhale down and then take this back leg and we're going to bring it forward. And then again, we're going to raise the arms, open up and stretch the shoulders. It's wonderful for the inner thigh, nice stretch for the inner thigh. Let's exhale back down. Now this side leg's going to go back. We're going to go ahead and come to the ball of the foot. We're going to rock forward and back. And then when you're 
ready, we're gonna make sure those wrists are right under the shoulders. We're gonna pick up that back leg. And we're gonna roll out the ankle. Keep your weight even. Keep pushing away from the floor with your arms. And then we're gonna point the toe, take the opposite arm and reach. And then exhaling down, we're going to cross our feet and just sit back in child's pose. Take a little break. And then we're going to come back up and we're going to do the whole thing on the other side. So we're sliding one leg back and then the other. We're returning to plank. So you're pulling in your navel, you're nice and strong. The, knee, the other knee now comes underneath the hip. We turn, we open. We bring that leg out to the side and then we open again for a little deeper stretch. And then as this arm comes down, this leg goes back and we rock. And then we're going to add the opposite arm. Good. And then take your time as you exhale down because we're going to come and sit on our hips. We're going to swing the legs out in front and we're going to find the middle of our mat and work on core. So we're going to start by sitting up nice and tall. Take your hands behind your knees. We're going to point the toes. I want you to lean back and see if you can pick up your feet. And if you can, maybe take your legs to tabletop. Don't let your back collapse. Think about lifting from your heart. Some of you can actually release and take the hands from underneath, from underneath the knees and just reach your fingers towards your ankles. A little bit more challenging, always feel free to grab underneath the knees. And again, reestablish the lift in the chest. It's called the boat. We're gonna slowly bring it down. Good, and then we're going to take our hands and we're going to make sure our hands are about six inches um, from our hips and we're going to make sure our heels are about six inches from um, the hips on the other side and we're going to lift to reverse tabletop. So you're lifting your hips, look up at the ceiling, listen to your shoulders, make sure this feels all right, and then on the exhale slowly lower it down. And then let's do that one more time. So the hands flat, the fingers are pointing towards your body. You're gonna press into your feet and into the arms as you lift your hips. Just go where you feel comfortable. And then slowly lower the hips. Good, and extend those legs long. We're gonna flex the feet and raise the arms. Staff pose. Good, and then we're going to exhale down. I want you to take one leg. I want you to bend it. Relax the other leg. And we're going to sit up nice and tall. Same arm is going to start to drift back. We're going to look behind us over the shoulder. And then we're going to bring it back in. So if you want a little bit of a challenge, you can grab either behind or right around the heel. Hold it as you twist. Your legs are at a tabletop position, 90 degree angle, looking back, or a full extension. So listen to your body. So for beginners, just stay at that 90 degrees. 
Great, and let's try the other side. So we're bending the knee, sitting up really nice and tall. Just take that arm and look back. Good, coming forward, grabbing the ankle right around the heel. I'm gonna just take it up to tabletop. Looking back again. Again, you want to grab the big toe and get an extension. And then both hands come in. Good. And what we're going to do is we're going to bend both knees so they're hip distance apart. Hands are back on the hips, but we're going to scoot up and roll down onto our spine. Hands at your side. We're going to go into some bridge work, working on our lower back. So we're going to push into the heels, raising the hips. And so you're shifting your weight to your shoulders. Your weight's on your shoulders. Your arms are at your side for balance. You're breathing. And just relax, work that lower back muscle. And you want to stay here for about 15 to 20 seconds. Stay with the breath. Good. And to come out of this, you want to just roll down from the base of the neck. Peel it down very slowly. And then we're going to reach and grab one leg, draw that knee into the chest. You can peel up or you can straighten the other leg. Good. And then roll it down. Take another deep breath and just hug. And then we're gonna switch sides. So both knees are bent. Good, just give yourself a hug. Maybe this is all you wanna do. Or peel your forehead towards the knee. And then you also have the option of extending the other leg. So work in those core muscles. We're gonna roll the head down. Now this time both knees are gonna come in. We're gonna grab the knees with our hands and we're gonna make some circles. So we're gonna massage that lower back we worked earlier, doing the bridge work. So take your time, gentle circles right around the lower back. Wonderful, last one. And then slowly lower your feet. We're going to pick up one leg. We're going to reach behind either the uh, calf or the thigh. So this would be level one. If you want to go a little bit more deeper, you can reach behind the calf. Make sure you relax your foot, pull it in. You can just stay right here and breathe. Again, the same thing where you could peel your forehead up and you can extend the leg, the opposite leg. This is a pretty intense hamstring stretch. So start at level one and just relax here until you get more flexible. Good. We're going to try the other side. So starting first, even right here is fine. You can just stay and breathe and start to loosen up those hamstrings or take it up. And then relax that foot as you draw it in. Feel free to peel up or even extend. slowly lower yourself down. Good. We're going to relax here on our back. We're going to lift one leg up into this air and then we're going to lift the other leg up. We're going to flex the foot and we're just going to do a little walking on the ceiling. Just stay here, continue to breathe. And then we're just going to pause and relax. This is always good to do anytime during the day is to get your feet up on the wall or get your feet 
over your hips just to change the circulation, get the blood out of the feet and the ankles. Good. And then we're gonna go ahead and bend the knees and again, come to tabletop. Good, stay right here. We're gonna do one more abdominal exercise. We're gonna peel up towards those knees and then try and take the hands off the floor. So your fingers are reaching forward. Your forehead's trying to come to meet the knees. And then exhale slowly down. You're gonna do one more, take a nice long breath. On the exhale, the navel pulls in towards the spine. We peel up. Beautiful, and then slowly come down. Good, slowly bring your knees down. We're gonna take just one leg, cross ankle over knee, go into the figure four, just open up that hip, give it a good stretch. Or for more intensity, you're reaching behind the back leg. Nice deep hip, hip stretch. So remember to take some nice long deep breaths that'll help your, your, to deepen your stretch. When you're too tense, your body will, um, actually your muscles will contract when you're tense. So just relax and allow those muscles to start to release. Take one more full breath. And then we're gonna lower it down. And then we're gonna take the other leg up, cross ankle to knee. You can stay right here, just pushing that knee away from you. This is a wonderful hip stretch. Or again, you can reach behind. You can stay here for about 15 to 30 seconds. You can even peel up. Wonderful, and then slowly lower it down. Good, both feet on the floor. We're gonna peel up, coming on to our forearms first. Good, and then sitting up. And we're gonna work on some inner thigh work. So we're gonna actually start in the center. We're gonna extend one leg out, the other foot comes in. We're gonna flex that extended leg, and we're actually just gonna walk down the leg. And again, the arm comes up towards the ceiling. And maybe this is all you need. Or you can deepen it by again, taking that arm overhead like we did earlier and reaching overhead towards that extended leg. Again, 10 to 15 seconds. Good, inhale back. And let's try that on the other side. So we're switching legs standing out start sitting tall walk out towards that leg and then again just gently reaching up towards the ceiling and if you feel like you can go some even deeper go ahead and take that arm gently over the head next to the ear again relax into it The more you relax, the deeper you'll go, and then take your time as you come up. Beautiful. And then we're gonna take our feet together. And if you have really tight hamstrings, I'd suggest keeping your knees bent, walking your hands out, and then just folding here. If you're more flexible, get full extension. And again, just walk out, reach for those feet, and then fold in. Good, and then release. 
slowly walk your hands back up. We're gonna go ahead and bend one knee. We're gonna hug that knee into chest as we sit tall. We're gonna do some spinal twists. We're gonna take this knee and foot and cross it over the other knee. This hand can hug or this elbow can come to the outside. We're gonna look back. Good, coming back to center, let's switch sides. Again, start with the hug. Sit up nice and tall, engage those back muscles. The foot crosses over, either a hug or elbow behind. back to center. Good. We're going to take both feet this time. Bring the soles of the feet together. Sitting up nice and tall. I'm going to grab my feet. Or you can grab your ankles. We're going to fold forward. Nice easy butterfly stretch. So if you're new to the butterfly, just gently push one knee down. Support yourself in the back and then push the other knee down. Or again, just grabbing and folding forward. Good, we're gonna slowly inhale up and we're gonna uh, finish actually with some upper body things. So we're going to actually cross up the ankle and we're going to sit up nice and tall. And all I want you to do is just walk your hands forward until you feel a stretch in the hip or the lower back. Once you feel some tension, just go ahead and fold. Take a nice deep breath and walking it back. We're going to turn towards one knee and then fold into that leg. And then when you're ready, slowly walk it over to the other side. Slowly coming up, we're going to take one hand to the side and we're going to again come up towards the ceiling and maybe over the head, but make sure your hips stay down. Good. Anchor to the floor. Nice last lateral stretch here and then inhale back up. Let's take it to the other side. So, really working that spine. And then inhale back and then grabbing one knee and again another rotation, twisting, looking back. And then switch. And then hopefully your spine's feeling nice and loose. We're going to take a nice deep breath. We're going to raise the shoulders to the ears. And then on the exhale, just release. Good. One more time, bring the shoulders up. Taking a full breath as you squeeze towards the earlobes. And then exhale, let it go. Good. Let's work on the neck by dropping the chin. And then inhaling, lifting the nose to the ceiling. Nice stretch for the front of the neck. 
and then coming back to center, sitting up nice and tall, neutral back, and drop the other ear to shoulder, and take the arm away. So now we're just dipping ear to shoulder. And then sitting up nice and tall, take this arm across. And then sitting up tall, dipping the other ear to shoulder. Try not to force this stretch. Nice neutral neck, and we're going to take the arm and look away. Nice deep breath here. And as we return to center, interlace your fingers. We're gonna take the palms away, rounding the back, make some circles. Just trying to relieve as much tension out of the back as we can. And then circle the other direction. arms up. Full breath as the palms come together. We're going to exhale the hands to the heart. And I want you to do three more. So really synchronize the breath with the arms. One more full breath. Good, returning to the heart center. Take a moment to scan your body. Let's take a full breath here. And on the exhale, I wanna wish everyone namaste. Thank you for joining me this week. Next week we'll have another sit and be fit. Stay healthy.